differentiate. Because you told me. Take a nap. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, you're going to represent the devil for a second. I like that. Okay. I can play devil's advocate. You can play that, right? Yeah. All right. So you remember that time when my wife showed up and you showed up at the same exact time? In New Mexico? There you go. Yeah. Remember that time? Yeah. Okay. So when you showed up, she came to your side. Remember that? Yeah, that's not my. Yeah, I remember that. That's fucked up too. All right, why is that fucked up? Well, because you, your wife should be paying attention to you, man. What do you think, John? Well, we're gonna get John's perspective on this. It's like. No, I'm not asking you. I'm asking the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, we're going to make a difference here. Because you told me, we're going to get to you in a second. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> See, the Spirit of God has no words for you. <laughs> <laughs> For real. All right, so you see where I'm going with this. Yeah, yeah. You remember? The Spirit of God has no words for those that are not from the Spirit of God. All right? Oh, well, yeah. Hold on. Show your face one more time. Are we all from the Spirit of God? Okay, see, this is why. I mean, didn't it happen because God had a lot of spirit? He was like, I want to have a kid. I want to have children. Are you saying that you are from the spirit of God, or are you saying... I'm saying all humans are from the spirit of God. All right, you're saying all humans are from the spirit of God. Yeah, I think that would be fair to say, yeah. John, what do you have to say about this? Ask him. <laughs> All right. So condemn yourself by scripture. Condemn myself? That is what scripture said. Why would I condemn myself? Why would you do that? Some broad wrote this. All right. In whatever that says. Hold on. I wrote, it's in English. If you know me, you owe me. <laughs> if you know me, you owe me. You don't owe me. You don't know me. You're a taint. You're a true legal man. It does say that. You're a true legal man. Free people. Do Free not people do not. I'm sorry. What did I say? Gamble the lives of your children. That's the one. That is a good one. I agree with that. So then how did you lead to the <laughs> separation of my marriage? I, uh, man, your marriage is beautiful. No offense. That is a good point. That's my only defense. Really. Yeah, that's true. No, he has a good point. So what, is the one for you? 
She was. He showed up and then. Fucked it up. Yeah, he fucked it all up. Yeah, Didn't anybody teach you? She huh. responded <laughs> to the Naga fucking shit. The she didn't respond to the snake fucking lizard king shit. She did respond to that. So I had no really where to go on that. She responded, but she snapped out of it. Yeah, immediately. Immediately. Uh, yeah. I mean, that is a good point. Immediately, she did snap out. Of it. She came to its own senses. <laughs> well, I was there. Yeah. So I snapped her out of that. But, all right. So why did you want her in the first place? I didn't want her. He didn't. He really didn't. He showed up for me. It was fun. <laughs> All right. You ready? This is way better than the other thing. Play the G string. <laughs> You know, there's this guy I met once. They called him the Homeless Mozart. The Homeless Mozart from Vancouver. He could play the piano, but physically he shouldn't be capable of it. He had frostbite in oh, both his hands. Yeah. But the music he played was classical music, and he never took a piano lesson in his entire life. And people would judge him before. They got to know him. That's a good point. I always liked him. He just when my marriage got suffered, then I had a problem with you, and you know why. Yeah, man. No, no, no. Explain why. This is serious. Why you had a problem with me as a result of that? No, I had a problem with you before that. Yeah. I brought you into what I was doing. And then my wife ran away. So I got pissed off about that because you did what? Well, what did I do to led to that? You know I what? Steal a car. I steal a car. He actually did. All right. But that was my van, first of all. I really liked that van. No, because he was doing meth and heroin. Oh, yeah. I don't do heroin anymore. Anymore. I tried it once. Back in high school. Back in. See? We are here. Where are you? Probably dead. In the land of the lost. <laughs> in the land oh, of the lost. Man, yeah. Now, are you going to stay there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to get this on <laughs> camera. Profess that Jesus is the Lord. Do it. There you go. There you go. Do you believe it in your heart? Yeah, he had a bad kid to the DJ. Yeah. Do you believe? Do you think he believes it? Yeah, it's obvious. Like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell with this one. I know, right? I'm not really yeah. feeling that you believe that. <laughs> Jesus' word was like, oh, that's true. Jesus, Jesus said, he's definitely not telling the truth. Get him, John. Uh, Jesus said, <laughs> when this happens, make this happen, and it happened. So he said, make it happen, Captain. Yeah, so if, so, if your words like manifest into reality and make change shit happens like that, then you might as well be God. So don't sweat it ball headed, pretty much. I feel that he's not happy that Jesus is the Lord. I'm happy. No. No, I, you don't well, see that. I'm not happy. happy because Jesus. That's no a very sad, happy face. See, yeah. that is a very sad... We're here after the Lord came and went. What do you like to do? What do I like to do? Yeah, every morning, what do you do? What's your routine? Yeah. Well, I, well, I don't have a routine yet. What should be the first thing you do every morning? Take a shit. No. Okay, pause. There you go. Yeah. When's the last time you went to church? Okay, when's the last time you had a church like this? All the time. Why are you smiling? This is I told him something funny. Are you a choir boy? Did you? You used to be a choir boy? What's 
hymn did you sing if you were a choir boy? What hymn? Yeah. Isn't that what choir boys do? Yeah, all the time. Uh, what was it? Did you hear what he said? The Unitarian Universalist. Did you just say, yeah, all the demons? All the demons, yeah. Heathen, heathen, heathen. Yeah, the heathen. You are acting very heathen right now. Unitarian Universalist. Come share a rose with me. Come share a rose with me. Now what are you saying? Come share a rose with me. <laughs> the Rose of Sharon. But you're supposed to know that scripture. Man, I'm, I'm about to pass out. I'm tired. Don't worry, the Lord will provide for you. He'll wake you back up. He'll wake you back up. I will. So you're going to be over here. You're not going to F up my marriage. No, I mean, I'll help you with your marriage. You can just stare at it from a distance from counseling, but I'll do my best not to fuck it up. What about him? He'll fuck it up. He lost the fight there. That's fucking crazy talk. What? He's not worthy? I never said that. I just said fucking marriage is crazy, man. Yeah, I know. Marriage is crazy. Marriage, marriage, homeless is crazy. Yeah, that is a good point. You can sure marry you. Didn't you just have an apartment over here? Yeah. What happened with that? How's that him and Dick going? Him and Dick. Yep. You don't seem to be happy about this marriage. Are you, are you, your body, you're like a man trapped in a different body or something. You really yeah, are. Yeah, which is true, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, guys. Right? Right so like, like a woman trapped in a male. <laughs> 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 like a non-binary uh, trapped in a, this, this fucking shell of a body. This shell of a body. But in the afterlife, you'll be right. Well, just... And you might not be. You might have to repeat it a few times. Yeah, back. you might have to learn. Yeah, the hard way. <laughs> the hard way. This is pretty hard out here. Yeah. It's up to you. Now, you accept that Jesus is Lord. Yep. Admit that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. All right. You hear that? Hallelujah. Do you understand that? that? That's what Do you, like. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Do you understand that? It is always going to be that way. So no more looking at porn on your phone. You got to do that. Well, yeah, I don't have a phone, first of all. And second of all, I'll look at all the porn I want. No, 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 no. All right, see, now you're not understanding. <laughs> this is a nice song. Right? No, 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 it's by uh, Barney Frampton. <laughs> I'm trying to remember a Duke and Stevens song. Put some change in the bucket. All right. That's Hold on. Didn't you have like a? You were a busker and you had a bucket. He did. He had a bucket. No, he was guy who had. He lived on the corner next to Yankee Doodle. Two gay poodles. Starvation army they play. Go green now. Go green. Go green. Alright. Let's welcome him on. Alright. You accept that Jesus is Lord. He's like, that's a lot of incest in one day. I like, I mean, like, uh, how do you feel? You feel changed, brother? Do you feel changed? Say yes. Right from Do you know yeah. what change feels like? Well, you feel the change feels like that. That's what change feels like. That's a nice penny. Right? It might be a million dollar penny, you never know. Oh. oh. Double nickels. God damn oh. it. Don't be dropping dimes on people now, just <laughs> I drop dimes. Hey, at least now you can say you got two nickels in your pocket, you can run together, you know. Like a day. <laughs> 
There you go. I actually like that. No, I, I got more that's coming. Alright? Just outside. don't mess with my marriage and we'll be fine. I promise I won't mess with your marriage. Alright. Say it three times. I promise not to mess with your marriage. Say it I more promise time. not to mess with your from marriage. From the bottom of my heart. Okay. From the, that is the point. And from the bottom of my heart, I mean it. Alright. I, I think that I would never Good man. Yeah. All right. You want to let him off the hook, right? Yeah, at the end, it's beautiful for you, you said. Yeah. Beautiful for you, you said. We will see you. All right. Read the Bible. B Y O B. I do have the Bible. Where is your Bible? I'm not going to tell you. It's in the most treasured, the most treasured, sacred place. Oh, yeah. I hid it in the hidey hole. Perfect.